Hello and welcome back to another reaction. I'm Andy Knox and tonight I'm watching Band of Brothers episode 5. So man, episode 4 was so intense. That barn scene was just, whew. It was interesting because we got to see how different lieutenants interacted with the soldiers and how they led them. We had more crazy tanks and more explosions and things like that. We had some close calls and we actually ended up losing some people as well. So man, I honestly don't know what to expect now. Like it's hard because we're getting to know these characters and then as soon as we get to know some of them, they're just gone immediately. So I'm just like, oh, I don't know if I want to get attached to any of these characters because I never know when they're going to be gone. And that was kind of the point point in the last episode where the guys were saying in the beginning like I didn't want to get involved or close to any of the newbies because normally like what would happen is they would get injured or they would die or something like that so I mean it's completely understandable it's just such an intense situation where it's like I personally probably wouldn't want to get close to anyone because the the feeling of just losing someone that you're close to is just like the worst but at the same time like they're brothers and it's their brotherhood and like they need to be close to each other and take care of each other and things like that because together they're more strong than they are alone so yeah so intense and I'm ready for more intensity I'm like prepping myself before all of these episodes and yeah so let me know in the comments below what your favorite part of this episode is and make sure to subscribe for more reactions also make sure to check out my patreon where you can watch the full-length version of this video so you can watch me watch the show and you can watch it together so make sure to check that out it's linked in the description box below and without further ado let's get into the show if you're a leader you lead the way not just on the easy ones, you take the tough ones too. Seemed like he always made the right decisions. He was a real soldier. He was he was one of the best. He never thought of not being first or sending somebody in his place. I don't know how he survived, but he did. Man, are they talking about winters? I guess this is gonna be an episode about him. <sighs> I'm a little fearful because they're, you know, talking about him in the past tense, but We'll see whether or not this is just their recounting of him back in the day, or if he if he doesn't survive, survive after this point. Already tense. That shaky cam keeps us in it. Oh, oh my god. What an intense way to start the episode. Jeez. Come on, something's upstairs, orders. Okay, go ahead, I'll be right down. Let's go. Okay. Oh. Is that pee? <laughs> oh, that's my own piss, for Christ's sake! <laughs> I woke him up. <laughs> God, it's so powerful. What's down that road? Regimental headquarters. But that's three miles away. Why are they giving away their position? Warning shots, maybe? Hold in here. I'm waiting for a signal. Oh, man, please. Yeah, I guess you gotta get behind them and see what's going on. Pretty bold. Ugh, I wish I could read these hand signals. They're so cool. Okay, so this is a recounting of what happened in the past. And he's recording it. Interesting. I like how they're doing that, how they're telling the story that way. It's great. Each episode tells a story in a different way and how they're utilizing different techniques throughout. It's great. So close. Oh my God. Guys, why are you doing this to me? They're so loud, wow. They're like really giving themselves away. What's going on? Is it bait? Are they doing this on purpose? <laughs> Got him. Fire. Oof, damn. Oh my God. Oh man. Ugh, the shots just. Zooming past. Ugh. Come on, fall back. Suppressing fire. Ugh. God. Ugh. They're just running through it too. Why don't you just give it up? Drinking. No. 
Hiding it in my footlocker. You're a captain for Pete's sake. <laughs> Maybe you're right. Maybe this is a perfect place to stop drinking. Right here on the business end of the Allied Advance. Cheers. I was hoping to see more of their relationship from the series. I'm glad they're giving us this. Dick, you know, that's not literature. You just keep it simple. Try writing in the first person plural, you know. Say we a lot. Thanks for the tip. <laughs> Let him do his thing. <laughs> He's in the zone. Yeah, color grading in the show is so on point. So gritty. Love it. Oh, man. Oh, man. Oh, man. Oh, my God. He is so badass. Wow. That's terrifying. It's like him against the world. Oof. Oh my god. It's best to get him on our wares, right? Oh my god. That's like no contest. Oh man. Oh. I love how it's shaking as the bombs are dropping and everything as well. It's like I'm there. You have one round. Johnny, how many prisoners do we have? Got 11 right now, sir. You drop a prisoner, the rest will jump you. I want all prisoners back at Battalion CP alive. Interesting. I like that. He's keeping them in check. People have probably been abusing this. They're prisoners as well, you know? Now, we were lucky, though. Only 22 wounded. Lucky. No one died or anything. That's intense. They were on point with that one. The winner is just going in. Holy crap. Incredible. It reminded me of that commando moment, actually. <laughs> Makes sense in the beginning. He was just like, I don't know how he survived. I don't either. Someone was watching over him. 22 wounded, huh? You okay? Yeah. One killed. Who? Hmm. Duplin. Wow, you're looking at two full companies of SS out there. 50 dead, probably another 100 wounded. That's not bad for Duplin. Hmm. It's good that he also has someone there to reassure him and to just be like, you're good, you're doing well, you know? Everyone needs that, especially the guy that's always there for others. I'm moving you up to Executive Officer 2nd Battalion. Colonel Strayer is, well, he could use some help. Well, I know I could handle them in the field, sir. That's right, Dick. You're a solid tactician and a good leader. Don't worry about administration. Yes. He's getting recognized for all he's doing. Who do you think would be taking over easy, sir? Moose Heiliger can command easy company. Lieutenant Heiliger would be my choice, sir. You pack your gear and come on to battalion CP. Yes, sir. Mm, but he's no longer going to be with easy. He has such a good dynamic with them. It's a lot of homework. And I thought executive officer was supposed to be a fun job. Who are you? Zelensky, sir. Zelensky's my orderly. <laughs> Moving on up. <laughs> Keep moving and lead the way, Dick. Easy's in good hands. <sighs> we'll see. Are we sure on the intelligence of this? Well, I think it's pretty good. Is Easy walking into another company of Germans no one can see? Why don't we ask Moose when he gets back? Right. Yeah. Oh, if uh, they do run into any trouble, you let me know. Yeah. You run into any bacon sandwich, do the same, all right? Oh, he's concerned. I mean, he's been working with Easy for so long, you know? Those are his people. He cares about them. I wonder if he's going to go back to them at some point. Sir, you missed a signature here. <laughs> Looking at his watch. He's like, what's happening with Easy right now? Bruce Heiliger and the American 101st have done the Red Devils a great service. Yeah. Yeah. To Easy Company, <laughs> victory and Kurahi. Kurahi! Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Just hang tough. Train your new platoon leaders and trust your non coms. Halt! It's Moose! <gasps> Hold your fire! Oh my god! What? Jesus! Are you kidding me? It's the thing about being in the dead of night. You can't see anything or anyone. And you're terrified. Acting on reflexes. Ugh. 
that handprint as well on the glass. The blood is on his hands. Oh, that is a great shot. Ugh, once again, the filmmaking is just top freaking notch. Just those little, little subtle moments. You, my friend, are headed to Paris. That's a 48 hour pass. It's been decided that you need a little dose of civilization. Bon voyage. Doesn't look too happy about that. I wonder why. I think this is the first time I've ever seen him like discontent. Interesting. He's just not happy being there. He's not comfortable, it doesn't look like. Maybe he feels out of place or something. Like he should be back with the guys. Man. Keep replaying that moment. So interesting. He smiled for a second, like not recognizing who he was. Hm. Oh man, winters. Something's going on. He's just, he's just in his feels right now. He deserves it. A moment of calm. Where you been? I've been looking all over for you. Well done. I was at home in Tonawanda, but then Hitler started this whole thing, so now I'm here. <laughs> I love that little joke. <laughs> Got the penny. Got a penny? <laughs> <Sure>. <laughs> oh my god, that friend that never shuts up. Elements of the 1st and the 6th SS Panzer Division have broken through in the Ardennes Forest. All passes are cancelled. No! Listed men report to battle with the two leaders. Again, no rest. Come on, ask him what's up. He's so flush. Something's changed in him, seriously. I remember he was so charismatic before, and now he's like a ghost. You have men returning to action without proper cold weather clothing and not enough ammo. I suggest you take your canvas of the entire base. Get what materials you have before you roll out. Or have you done that already? No, sir. Yes! Exactly. Do it. Take care of the men. Put them out there with the proper equipment. I mean, layers upon layers to be out there in the dark and the cold like that. Bill, Don, give me a look at this. Give me a look at this. Jesus. <laughs> Can you let them finish peeing first? <laughs> they came out of nowhere. They slaughtered us. You gotta get out of here. You just got here. <sighs> it's not looking good. Jimmy Kimmel? <laughs> Am I seeing things? It's so funny how I'm just like discovering people in this. Panzer Division is about to cut the road south. Looks like you guys are gonna be surrounded. Good luck. Thanks. Oh, man. Setting us up for something. I'm scared. Don't know what to expect. He's got that slight grin, like that glow in his eyes, that slight grin, you know? He's at home. He's where he needs to be. These are his people. This is his family. These are his children, you know? He's there to take care of them. Yeah. Makes sense. Ugh, oh, I can't believe they ended it there. I. Uh, I'm so afraid like the next episode is gonna be them going in like going so hard like where the other guys didn't make it or you know had to retreat and whew, it's gonna be intense gotta brace myself I know it but I like this episode because it got us into winters and his psyche and like everything he's feeling you know the beginning moments of the shot you know of the SS soldier and that recurring moment just like in his mind just like coming back you know it's just like as he's recalling everything that happened it was so well done I love that they have this like unique approach to their storytelling throughout each episode it's a little different there's like significant techniques that they use in order to tell the story in different ways and I love how they do that such good filmmaking so well written and so well made and there are so many like little hints 
and little moments that they give us without having to tell us too much. Like his facial expression of him being out in battle and then him being in France and how different he looked just from walking around, just from just like staring into the abyss, like his demeanor was so different. And in the end, it shows his face and how proud he is of what he's doing and how proud he is of his company and the fact that they're the ones that are going in when nobody else can. And it's just like, oh, oh he is so good. And I love just every, ounce of his character you know and i'm not saying his character as like he was like made for this tv show like his character as like the real person you know the real person that he's being portrayed as or he's portraying you know like he is such an incredible leader and an incredible person and someone that you really look up to and someone that the soldiers are believing in and listening to and it's just incredible to watch and i just i want to watch more like i'm like i said i'm so scared for the next episode and what's going to happen when they're like in the dark in this battle that's i'm sure is going to ensue that no one else could do or the others had to retreat from but man so good it was it was in vain with the last episode where it didn't affect me emotionally a lot you know we didn't really lose very many people like we had a lot of injuries in this episode we did lose one person but as ron Livingston's character said like they got so many enemies that his death was, I don't want to say avenge, I don't really know the word that I'm looking for, but it just, I can't even think of it. When I think of it, I'll probably say it in the intro for the next episode, but it wasn't as heavy as the previous episodes before the last episode. So yeah, I have a feeling that I'm still gonna have to brace myself. I'm still gonna have to, you know, hold on to my butt because I know that shit's gonna go down. It's gonna continue to go down. And you know, these characters are experiencing some really, really, really heavy things. And we're getting into their psyche. We're getting into the, the moments that they're having like with themselves and with others. And then also like they're focused in battle and everything too. So it's so well portrayed in this show and I can't wait to watch more. So thank you guys for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one.